I think I shot your signs here before you go, if that's right. Yeah, we should get you. Yeah, no, that's a good idea. We have some friends in the Okay, I'm sorry. I couldn't, I couldn't hear you before. What were you I'm saying? Sorry. We definitely shouldn't be giving this a platform, but, like, I'm just thinking out loud. Can I chatter with you? Yeah. yeah. Okay, thanks. You're far enough away from the noise that I can actually hear you. She doesn't want attention. She doesn't want any attention. These people, they don't need attention. Come on. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, okay, so, uh, yeah, question for you. Um, do you favor, uh, do you guys favor, um, at the Westboro, do you favor uh, using government laws to stop people from doing, you know, gay acts or homosexual acts? Do we favor using government laws to stop people from doing homosexual acts? Yes. I don't know how a government law could could stop anyone from doing a sexual act. The government's not in your bedroom or wherever it is that you're doing your sexual acts. We're talking about a, a, a nation that has policies of encouraging and supporting proud sin. That's what we're talking about. When we talk about a nation, the scripture's full, full of verses about if a nation is righteous, has righteous policies, then that nation will be blessed by God. When it doesn't, then it's not going to be, it's going to be destroyed. So being Americans and loving our neighbors as ourselves, as we're commanded to do, we are imploring you, we're begging you to stop this before it's too late. That's our only goal. Only goal is to, serve, is to do our duty to God, to love our neighbors as ourselves. Only goal. Does Westboro condemn acts of uh, violence against uh, homosexual homosexuals who are actively homosexual? We, we condemn acts of violence of every shade, every type of acts of violence. Nobody has any business committing any violence against any other human. It's a sin against God including the violent acts that they are committing against us today with their jostling and their assaulting and battering and threats of violence all of it and that's how they roll can, can, I, can I have can I have your, your, your name and position within the church you can't have it because it's mine but I'll I'll let you borrow it just to be sure it's it's Rachel Rachel Hockenberger and I'm a member and also an attorney for the Westboro Baptist Church a member of an attorney for Okay, thank you for your time. You're welcome. I'm going to shout your signs here before you go, if that's all right. Yeah, we should get you. Yeah, no, that's a good idea. We have some friends in the Okay, I'm sorry. I couldn't, I couldn't hear you before. What were you saying? Sorry. We definitely shouldn't be giving this a platform, but, like, I'm just thinking out loud. Do you oh, think I, that I, that's I'll, what we should be spreading, or should we be, like, not focusing on them? I'll hear you focusing out. focusing on this. I'll hear you out. Yeah. This is what we want to be focusing on. All these people here love each other and love who they are. Let's ignore them and not show them. Now, one thing I noticed you were carrying an, what looked like an Antifa sign a minute yes. ago. Are you with Antifa? It's not a group. It's a political ideology that says it's not a group. You can't be a member of Antifa. So, like, I can't answer that question. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. You know, you're the first person who seems to be associated with the official, well... No, there okay. is no official. Okay, There right, is no right. official group. There isn't one. Okay, let me ask you this, then. W would you be willing to tell me if you're on the anti-fascist, uh, Colorado Springs anti-fascist group on Facebook? No. Okay, so you're not even on that. No. All right, fair enough.
You've seen the dramatic Liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling. For details, visit freekeen.com.